All right, thank you, Steve. Closing time for pub crawls. The celebrated events are commonly are common, especially in Albany and closer to St. Patrick's Day, when big groups of people hop from bar to bar. Well, Matt Markham reports they may come to an end if one Manhattan assemblyman has his way. A discussion brewing at the Capitol could kick the keg on a good time. Downstate Assemblyman Micah Kellner says the debauchery around pub crawls impacts quality of life in neighborhoods. Kellner told the New York City radio station. It's a danger to themselves and the communities it's happening in. Neighborhoods have been inundated. He's proposing legislation that would strip bar owners of the licenses if they were found sponsoring pub crawls. They're um, organized. There's always somebody to talk to as a leader to control them. You know, I don't understand. It's, it's, it's probably one of our best assets as restaurant people. One of the largest pub crawls comes with St. Patrick's Day. A blend of pub crawl and house party comes with kegs and eggs uptown. It turned into a melee before, but bar owners say similar problems don't come with older people bar hopping. The stronger we are as businesses, the values of the properties go up. They understand that. The people around us understand that. Some bar owners say that pub crawls really aren't the problem, especially when you consider that some of the money raised from them actually goes to charity. The overall safety of the community is what I believe legislation wants, but there has to be some study done so that they can make, you know, um, intelligent choices. Well, I don't really see why they would waste their time spending money on trying to stop something that they can't possibly stop. In vino veritas, an old phrase saying there's truth in wine. The truth is this legislation has only been introduced to the assembly. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News, Albany.